Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Purva and today I am setting up unit tests when I am using Axios for fetching requests. Now, have you ever seen errors like this? Cannot use import statement outside a module. I just imported Axios in my React PS6 file and I am trying to import Axios in the test file as well. Or have you ever seen errors like property get does not exist on type, type of Axios? or avoid wrapping testing library, util call Synac. If you have, and if you are facing similar issues, you are in the right place, so keep watching it until the end. We'll resolve all these issues together. Let me quickly take you through the file uploader class that I have. It is nothing but just trying to upload a file to Amazon S3. We don't have to get into nitty gritty details, but just understand that I'm calling exios.get once. Once I get the URL from here, I'm uploading the image data using exios.put form with this URL. For the test setup, I am using React testing library and I am trying to create some spy functions on exios get. I have um, mocked exios using just .mock. Before calling any test, I am clearing all the mocks. I have only one test which is rendering file uploader and then later on trying to test the assertions. As you clearly see, there are a lot of errors. So let me just comment everything out. We only have file uploader render and nothing else as of now. Still, this will throw an error. Uh, let me go to terminal, run the test for it, npm test file uploader. And you'll see this will fail with an error in import exios.exios, cannot use import statement outside a module. To fix this, uh, you just need to go to your chess.config.ps file and add a module name mapper for Exios. So this will look something like this, uh, Exios, Exios, this node, Exios.cgs. Once we'll save this, go back to terminal, rerun the test, and now this should at least not show that error. So you see the test is passed. Okay, moving on. The next thing, is uh, we want to test these spy functions so that, as i said i'm calling one get and one put so i have initiated two spy functions one on get and one on put for get i am returning a result value which is nothing but just a url it's a temporary url now i'm um, with this line i am uploading a file using user event dot upload user event is again from testing library user event Okay, let's uncomment until now and I will also uncomment this line to see if this works. Ideally, input.files after one upload should return a length of one. So you see this fails with an error An update to file uploader inside a test was not wrapped in X. This clearly mentions and says what needs to be done over here and this should resolve our problem. So let's go back and fix this. I'm calling user event.upload instead of directly waiting for this function. Let's wrap this inside X. And this X you need to import from testing library. I hit enter and it is automatically imported for me from React Test Renderer, which is not I what I want to do here. So make sure that you have X important from testing library. You need to add a weight over here and simply call act user event dot upload input test file. Now you see we end up in this ESLint error. Avoid wrapping testing library util calls in act. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I do not have a real solution to fix this. However, I did find something over the internet from an author of ESLIN plugin testing library who implemented no unnecessary F rule. He says that unfortunately we need to suppress this warning and there's no real solution from his side either. So although I didn't find a solution, if you do, let me know in the comment section. I'll use that and that will help others as well. So do let me know. Until then, let's suppress this line of code. So ESLint. Disable next line. Okay, moving on. 
uh, let's try to read on our code and see if this fixes this problem. Our test is successful. One last thing I want to test is if my spies are being called. So I will use the API to upload it and then expect the spy to be called. So ideally in my case, spy one should be called once and spy two should also be called once. One is spy on Exios get, another is on put form. Let's read on the test quickly. So you see spy one is called, but spy two is not called. We can check one more thing. So I'll try this get one more time, just temporarily to check if this is actually working. So as per the code, this should be called spy one should be called twice. Okay. And when I read on the test, this will still say that this is called only one time. So expected number of calls two, but received number of calls one. There's a very easy solution to fix this. You need to wrap this inside wait for because user event dot click take takes some time and await doesn't really work. So just use await wait for and put this false inside. Now to avoid this ESLint error that one wait for should have only one assertion. I will remove this assertion from there. Save it. Go back, rerun the test. That's it. All the tests are successful and this works. Just a quick recap. While importing Exios in test, you need to add module name mapper as Exios this node exios.cjs. Second thing that you need to do is wrap your upload call inside act. Third and last thing that you need to do is your wrap your spy calls or assertions inside wait for. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.